Our first demonstration would be uh, testing a, a peak lined wearing assembly uh, that you can see here inside of this housing. Uh, we're going to place it over the uh, rotating impeller on the test rig. And install a protective covering over just so no one uh, injures their fingers or gets burnt. We'll then place a load cell that is a hydraulic cylinder uh, onto the unit that will apply the radial load onto the wear ring. But first snuggle it up to uh, uh, basically no load and turn on the power. And you can see uh, under no load it's pulling about 7.2 to 7.4 amps. Now I'm going to adjust the uh, load up to 20 pounds radial load. and see how long uh, uh, it takes for the, uh, for the unit to lose its uh, diametral clearance. You can see on the amp meter that it's now pulling more and more load as we lose running clearance. Nine amps, 10, 12, up to 15, and now it's jamming up and uh, locking, trying to lock the rotor. I'm gonna turn the unit off. We now have the rig uh, reloaded with a CR6100 uh, wear ring assembly. Uh, as you can see, the temperature's up a little bit from the prior run, but I'll start it up at no load. And again, we're drawing about 7.4 amps. Now we'll adjust the load to 20 pounds, and we'll let the unit run for uh, about 15 minutes, and we'll check it every five minutes to see what's happened with the current uh, and the temperature. The rate at five minutes uh, temperature has risen up to 117 degrees Fahrenheit and the current draw is still right at uh, 7.4 amps. So this is uh, a duration of a uh, five minute run. We're right at uh, 10 minutes running time. Uh, frictional heating, the temperature is up to 140 and the current draw is still pretty nice and steady and uh, holding right on there about 7.4 amps. So the unit's running, uh, running pretty smooth. We're right at uh, 15 minutes uh, run time and we've shut the unit off. Uh, you can see the temperature's got up to 160 and the current was uh, right at around 7.4 amps.